Have you ever wondered how people manage to get their sewing to look in a straight line, neat and not wonky? In this video we're going to have a look at some practical tips to help you to get your sewing to be in a straight line and neat. And we're going to start right now. My name is Juliette Uzel of SoSoNatural.com and if you are interested in creating your own clothes, owning your style and showcasing them for everyone to see, then this is the right channel for you. So you are welcome if this is your first time. I would really appreciate it if you took a moment to click that subscribe button and the bell notification right next to it. So when next I upload a video, you'll be notified. Hands up if you found sewing in a straight line really tricky when you started to sew. We all did. I mean, it's all part of learning to sew. It's just like driving. <laughs> when you start driving, there are just so many things for you to consider. There's so many things for you to remember. Same thing applies with using a sewing machine. So I have these tips here for you to learn how to sew in a straight line. So my very first tip for you is to sit up straight. It sounds very basic, but it's really, really key. A straight sitting person would have full control of their fabric and when your fabric is in full control you tend to sew in a much straight line so don't forget to do that sit up straight and just be in control really <laughs> the second tip i have for you is to trace along the stitching line of your garment so using a friction pen these friction pens leave pen marks however those marks do disappear with Heat. So when you iron over that stitching line, the pen will dis the pen mark will disappear. So using a pen mark or chalk, those really do help. It helps you to gain control and feels like you are in charge and you just follow the line stitching. So that's another tip for you. And as you go, you get used to being in control of it. But if it's if you're still at the early stages of your sewing. I really had that difficulty and I think a lot of people do have that difficulty. So I would recommend tracing along the seam allowance, the stitching line of your garments. And I do use a, a, a ruler. So, so just find out how much seam allowance your pattern allows and then just trace using a ruler and a pen or chalk along your stitching line. And that would really help you to gain control. Pro tip, use the same fabric you're working on. So get rid of any chalk marks on your fabric. So if I were sewing this, t this shirt and I had some blue chalk marks on it, I would use this same fabric to get rid of the chalk marks on this same shirt. So that's something that I learned from well, my time on the Great British Sewing Bee and I thought I'd share that with you. Tip number three. Do not focus on the up and down movements of your sewing machine needle. It's really easy to focus on that, just watching it go up and down, but then that can be quite distracting and take away the control that you have over your fabric. So really, really keep an eye on that. Get yourself out of that habit if you already do have that habit. Do not focus on it. Just focus on the actual fabric and keeping it in line where it should be. The fourth tip is to use a guide. There are so many guides out there in the market these days. The sewing machine plate is metallic. Any metallic seam guide that you can find out there on the market, they're not, they come out, they come really, really cheap. I'd recommend using that. That would go exactly wherever your seam allowance is supposed to stop and you would line up your fabric with the seam guide. So when you have that there, it helps you to sew a long way you're supposed to sew. Those don't really come in handy when you're working um, on a in a corner. So when you've got a corner, then I don't find them really, really useful, but for some people it is useful. For corners, I do trace my seam allowance using a pen or a chalk. I trace along the stitching line and then sew along. And when I get to the end of the corner, I turn around and move on to the next side. So really, really, Remember, there are so many guides you could use. You can use your machine foot, so the sewing machine foot as a guide. If your guide does line up with your seam allowance, then I would use that. 
Another thing you could do is move the needle position so that it is exactly where you want it to be and you can just use the machine foot as your guide. I've seen a few people do this. Some people use washi tape or some masking tape to line up their seam allowance so they stick the, the so they stick the washi tape exactly where their seam allowance is supposed to end and that helps them as a guide. So that's something to bear, bear in mind. You could try that option out as well. So you have your magnetic guides, the foot of your machine, the so you have a magnetic guide, you have the edge of your machine foot, you have another option which is using washi tape or um, masking tape. You could also use the actual markings on the plate of your machine or you could move the needle position to match up exactly where you want it to be. Okay, before we move on to the very final tip, I would really appreciate it if you could hit the like button if you're getting value from this video. Also, if you have any other tip for people who are learning to sew or people who struggle to sew a longer straight line, please just leave your tip in the comment section below. would really appreciate it. I can use some tips as well. <laughs> okay, so the last tip for you is go slow on your machine pedal. Treat it like you're driving. So do not press too hard on it. But if your machine has speed control, that's that's so useful because all you need to do is turn it right down, get your machine going really slow and focus on sewing in a straight line. And later on, you can build your way back up to pro mode and turn up that speed to the highest and just sew away. It's so easy sewing in a straight line. Uh, sewing in a straight line is really important, especially if you want to take your sewing from homemade to pro made so thank you very much for your time and i really appreciate you coming by to watch this video all the very best and i'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>